And uh, Ben Ayres, a financial analyst, uh, joins me now live to discuss uh, Putin's decision. Uh, Mr Ayres, thank you for being with us here on RT. Uh, do you think someone who took money from the government to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars should be pardoned? Well, it's uh, confusing in so much as you can't see this strictly in the terms of law in so much as when Putin took over, he made a pragmatic deal with the oligarchs uh, and told them to stop stealing. And it was uh, the rules of the game were what enforced then. As it happened, most of the oligarchs said yes. The issue's never been whether Khodorkovsky should go to jail. The issue's been why didn't all of the oligarchs go to jail? And given that there was a fairly arbitrary decision to jail Khodorkovsky because they clashed politically, um, the decision to release him is sort of equally arbitrary. It's not necessarily a question of rule of law and wrongs and rights. Everybody was stealing in the 90s, um, but it was Khodorkovsky's decision to go up against Putin that landed him in jail in the, in the, in the final, in the final um, uh, analysis. Uh, this amnesty, the latest amnesty here in Russia, has covered Pussy Riot, Greenpeace activists who attacked Russia's drilling platform, and now we're talking about Mikhail Khodorkovsky here. What message is Putin trying to send? Uh, I think there's two messages. One's to the international community and one's to the domestic audience. Uh, internationally, the relations with the rest of the world have been deteriorating rapidly and are getting worse and worse. And perhaps Putin with this is trying to put a, a stop to that or a marker and to slow down that process uh, and to hold out an olive branch to the rest of the world. Secondly, domestically, uh, you know, the, the corporate governance rule of law have been an increasing issue here in Russia. We've seen street protests uh, and given the events in Kiev in particular, I think the Kremlin is acutely aware that they need to actually meet the opposition halfway or at least make some moves towards uh, meeting the demands of like more responsible government. And letting Khodorkovsky, who's been a cause celeb uh, in all of this, out of jail uh, is perhaps, uh, uh, again, an olive branch to those people to say that the Kremlin is actually listening a bit closer to what the people want to see happen. Uh, do you think Putin's decision has anything to do with international pressure and what reaction do you expect from, from Western activists and governments who have been highly critical of Russia over these uh, prisoners? Uh, I think the international reaction will be muted. Uh, of course, everybody is going to be pleased and, and will congratulate the government for doing this because it's something they'd like to have seen. Uh, I think this is in the context as well of Sochi. Uh, I mean, you look at the experience of Azerbaijan, they spent a lot of money and effort in trying to present themselves to the world and their hosting of the Eurovision Song Contest was a complete disaster because all of the press that came out of it was about human rights. I think Putin's looked at that uh, lesson and think he's trying to sort of clear the air or, or uh, present himself in a better light ahead of the Olympics when the world's attention will turn to Sochi in just a few months' time. Oh. Ben Aris, financial and economic analyst, thank you very much indeed for your time. And uh, now asset manager Eric Kraus.